Now that you have a basic understanding of the Unreal Engine interface, we will go through some of the common Unreal asset types, each with its own contextual editor. For this tutorial, we are going to use assets from the starter content folder. If you do not have this folder in your content browser, you can go to Add, Add Feature or Content Pack, and then you can add the starter content into your project. Before we add anything to our scene, let's first add a sky so that we can see what we are working on. The easiest way to add environment lighting is to open the Environment Light Mixer from the Window dropdown. We can leave everything as default, and then we can just add all the sky elements into our scene. Now you can see that we have sky and some light in our viewport. The most common asset type in Unreal is a static mesh. This is a renderable physical geometry that will make up your scene. Static meshes can be as simple as a shape to big complex objects with multiple materials. In Unreal, we can add simple shapes by going to the Place Actors dropdown, and in the Shapes category, we can add a plane to our scene. So we can see that I'd added it very far away. So in the Details panel, I'm going to go to Location, and then click this reset button to reset it back to the default value. If you ever have trouble locating an actor in your scene, you can select the actor in the outliner, and then in the viewport, press the F key to snap the camera to that object. This plane is tiny, so in the details panel under scale, I'm gonna click this lock icon to make sure that we're scaling uniformly, and then I'll scale it up by 12. Now we can see that it is much bigger. In the static mesh section, we can see the static mesh geometry that makes up the static mesh. And if you double click it, we will open up the static mesh editor. Here you can adjust some settings related to the geometry. Now let's look at some more complex static meshes. So let's head into the starter content folder and then go into the props folder. Here we can find a variety of different static meshes. For example, let's add a chair into our scene. So to add anything from the content browser into the viewport, you can simply click and drag into the viewport and add it into the scene. Now another important thing with static meshes to consider is collision. So if we go into the details panel, we can scroll down to the collision section. Now, collision is essentially the interaction between objects, determining whether they can pass through each other or not. So, for example, if I go into play and try to pass my camera through the chair, you can see that we are stopped by the chair because it has collision. If you ever have any problems with collision, you can simply go to the collision presets dropdown and change it to no collision. Now you can see that if we go into play, our camera will pass through the chair with no collision. After gaining a basic understanding of static meshes, we can now look at how to give them visual interest by creating materials in our next lesson.